We live in an amazing city. This is partly because of a well thought out planning effort, starting with downtown's initial layout, extending through the years to today. City plan, which includes land use, transportation, and transit plans, defines where and why things get built and the transportation systems needed to keep people moving. Through the decades, city plan has evolved, adjusted, and adapted as Fort Collins has grown. Now it's time to update it again, and we can't do it without you. Over the past 50 years, Fort Collins has grown from a small town to a mid-sized city. We've created one of the best bicycling cities in the country, launched max service, and established bold goals to protect the climate and the environment. At the same time, housing and transportation have become key community priorities. Housing costs have increased faster than incomes, more people are commuting for their jobs throughout the region, and as land within our growth boundary declines, we need to make decisions about what's best for the land we have left. We are proposing three future scenarios to test different patterns of growth and investment. Which elements of these scenarios resonate with you? The first scenario illustrates our current path forward using existing plans and investments for transportation, land use, and our established community goals and policies. The roadway network expands in areas where new development is occurring. Progress is also made implementing the low-stress bicycle network along with sidewalk enhancements. Transit expansion would be more limited with some higher frequencies on a few routes and service enhancements along the West Elizabeth Corridor. This scenario continues current development patterns and the community will continue to look and feel very similar but we would be more limited addressing housing and transportation priorities. The second scenario makes targeted changes to achieve community priorities for transportation and housing. Bus rapid transit expands to new quarters like North College and West Elizabeth, and more bus routes see increased service frequencies. Bicycling and walking infrastructure also sees additional funding to provide vital connections to and from the bus system. New residential neighborhoods could be more varied with different types of housing, along with additional incentives for affordable housing. Few changes are anticipated in established neighborhoods. This scenario makes more progress toward our climate action goals, provides additional transportation options, and modestly increases our future supply of different types of housing. This scenario will require a slight increase in funding and Fort Collins would look and feel a bit different, especially along transit and commercial corridors. Scenario 3 is more ambitious and results in changes in more areas of the community. The Harmony and Mulberry corridors would eventually see bus rapid transit, and even more bus routes would see increased service frequencies. There is also an additional emphasis on improving bicycle and pedestrian connections. Changes would also encourage more housing types in both existing neighborhoods and new development. This plan goes the furthest in achieving our climate action goals, increasing housing choices and supply, and providing a more balanced transportation system. This scenario also costs the most. New taxes or other funding sources would be needed to make this vision a reality. These elements would represent a more dramatic change in how you experience Fort Collins today, especially along our arterial and commercial corridors. So here's the question. How do you think Fort Collins should move forward? These three scenarios could each have positive and negative impacts on the community. The truth is, we are going to have to make some difficult decisions to balance all the things that people say they want. Better transit, walkable neighborhoods, affordable housing, and a safe, friendly city. What changes do you like the most? What concerns do you have? And, of course, can you imagine ways to address those concerns? Remember, the goal with the city plan scenarios is not to pick one of three options. The goal is to have a conversation about the choices that we need to make as a community. These conversations are an incredibly important piece of city plan. Your impact will help shape our community for the next 20 years. So get involved. Join us at a meeting, participate online, and tell us what your Fort Collins looks like in the future.